Here's my uh, strategic compass summary of this intense week that you guys have all had. All right, is that beat coming through? You guys hear me? Yeah, all right, check it out. Yo. <laughs> this was a fun conversation to follow, but yeah. I'm a start of funders. Follow your hunches, your passions and hungers, appetites for disruption, at business lunches, discussions, testing industry functions. Just don't forget to check your strategy compass. Cause a pioneer without a compass is lost technically. Which competitors are we up against? And what's our identity? And who's the target customer? And what tech do we need? Just check the compass. Figure the direction and proceed. Just check the compass. Figure the direction and ask yourself, are you taking the field to attack and storm a hill? Or do you sit back? And dig a moat and just chill Are you jackrabbit skilled? Are you packing a tortoise shell? Are you building a coalition? Do you straight compete for deals? Do you collaborate or do you compete? Or you storm a castle and fortress build? That's the compass, baby North, south, east, west Four strategies So let's just see which one is best There's intellectual property That's where you sit back and collaborate You stay safe within a castle And just add to the value chain Within an existing market And deliver for incumbents An idea factor that's how Getty Images functions. Architectural is building a moat, but still competing. A strategy that's got Google and Open Table succeeding with reservations for seating. A brand new platform that industry transforms, just like the Apple App Store or like Facebook, which is serving an urgent need that people never knew they had while still controlling the IP and identity to get up in all of our headspace. But architectural plays can also go the way of the Segway. That's a segue to dis. Disruption, storm a hill and compete. Keep a low profile at first. Don't provoke the beast. Stay low and build exclusive cred like Clubhouse. And then when it's too late to defend, you just bust out with moxie and verve like a swaggering hip hop hustler, right? You wanna be Netflix in this game, not Blockbuster. Having the last stand like Custer. Rest in peace to incumbents that failed to fend off attacks from disruptors. But wait, you can also storm a hill and collaborate. That's the slow path the riches, right? That's the value chain, the domain of quiet achievers. Some would say the safe path, the pedestrian way to make cash. I'm talking data cash, right? Straight facts like me kicking MBA raps. I'm adding lyrical value, but y'all paid for this class. That's one way to blaze a path, value chain rap. So I guess that makes me the lyrical version of safe graph. So what is safe graph? Yeah, they got the data popping. They're tracking you every time that you go and pay for a coffee. They started as a competitive place. And then they got a conscience moving towards collaboration. Ask Abdul Muhammad, right? I got it. If I'm safe, graph and body, then you can thank me. It's an architectural play. Just ask Sneha Solanki. I take every statement that you proclaim or you mutter or you stutter and I refine it into a bunch of lyrical butter. And that's collaborative, right? It's bigger than propriety ad tech. Berkeley is not going to use this rap to sell its classes because that would be controlling instead of open, usable data in a value chain. Proclaim James Rose, when, plug and play, baby, without the negative connotations that Arjun Ajampur raised like they're gonna scrape it, so why not just have it be like a, a data scrapyard, said Arjun, chilling in his beautiful picturesque backyard, but whoa, some customers want the data rough, they waited enough, forget the refinement, right, they're like, give me the basic stuff, Shashank Balashankar wants to rename it Data Is Us, customers want it quick, just ask Isaiah Deresa, but how are we gonna work it, and just connect the circuit, Sell side research, said Matthew Hurwitz. Sell it to investors, right? Like Bloomberg News. You gotta give the customers what they want, said Lou Shu. Just like this lyrical groove. So just ask Lauren Q. Execute and collaborate. That's how we do. But Jonathan's pushing back when the data's misused. No data is ever gonna prove the existence of Q. Anon, but what about the government contracts? That's not hard, right? Less profit, says Balaji. Bhaskar, whoa says Chelsea, Balaji's point blows, the government's got mad cheese, as Chelsea Boyle knows, the Department of Transportation, it overstands, that's when control intent pays off, ask Ocean Van and Jonathan Wolf just sitting back and loving it, like we're about to hire a new head of federal government, we're a generalized data company with specific refinements, all things to all people, right, 
universal alignment, and this class is killing it. Big up Berkeley College, except when you said that we have no domain specific knowledge. Whoa, don't get it twisted. It's not called safe groove, it's safe graph. We sell the butter and the cake too. We serve the data every second of every single minute. We're telling Denver where to set up its vaccination clinic. So, yo, park that data in your five car garage, cause the profits, the prospects of most companies are mirage. Either bottle it up or take the armor off. Profit loss analyzed by the students of Abhishek Nagaraj according to the compass. All the companies are profiting in ways that shout out Eric Scott, Stott Stern for their co-authorship and Josh Gans for taking a startup chain and chopping it up into four highly demarcated quadrants so you could break it down like the plot of an action movie. Architectural plays, baby, just ask Alex Luzzi with infinite potential that leaves everyone impressed. I mean, Dan Bernstein is fully ready to invest and that's how tech works across all the sectors. Jonathan, how are you gonna stay horizontal experts and keep your company culture? Tell me how well it ends. You can't keep that ethos of open data like Philip Chen. Jonathan was like, don't worry, we'll keep it strong. We'll give bathroom data to any asking peeping Tom. I'm just kidding, they're not. They have high principles. That's why their investors get the interest plus the principle. The class was dope, Abhishek, yeah. And now you can test me and see how much curriculum you can get from just a week plus Abhishek. This curriculum was deep when you described the insurance industry as sexy compared to federal government public sector beats, right? Check the technique, the analytics is extreme, so compare this rap to 8 Mile. It may take a while, but it's like refining 8 million lines in a data file. So all my startup founders, yo, follow your hunches, your passions and hungers, all your appetites for disruption at your business lunches, discussions, testing industry functions. Just don't forget to check your freaking strategy compass, cause a pioneer without a compass is lost technically, like which competitors are we up against and what's our identity and who's the target customer and what kind of tech do we need? Just check the compass, figure the direction and proceed. Just check the compass, figure the direction and proceed. Check the compass, figure the direction and proceed.